Good day, students. Uh, welcome to your library. I am Davi Milan. I'm the librarian responsible for the Department of Art and Music. In the next 20 or so slides, I'm going to show you how you might go about finding information relevant to your studies uh, using the library online. As you know, we are in lockdown. Most of our libraries are closed. And as I'm speaking, you're not allowed to visit the main library in person. Say hello to Professor Lenkabula, our new rector and vice chancellor, who started with us at the beginning of this year. To access the UNISA homepage, Google it. Google UNISA or University of South Africa. From this page, you will be able to access my UNISA, which is very important to you. But our business here is the library, so simply click on this link. This is your library page, from which we make available all our services and resources. This is something that I want you to get to know intimately. The only way to do that is to click on all these links. Look at the library services over here, see what's on offer. This search library block is our main search interface. Uh, you have access here, search the catalog to 3 million print books. Uh, find e-resources, you have access to about 600 academic databases. Over here, e-reserves e and recommended books. These are for your modules, more about that later. And over here, you have access to 100,000 plus academic journals, which you can search by title and um, get access to their electronic archives. This is another important tab, log into my library, click on that, and you see what your contact is with your, with your library. How many books you have out, when they are due, uh, renewals you can do from there, etc., etc. But what I want to uh, draw your attention to and recommend you do is click on uh, library guides because from there you can select your uh, discipline, say art, and use that libguide as a launchpad to our resources relevant to that particular uh, discipline. Libguides are very popular the world over at universities. We bought into the software a couple of years ago. We've got around uh, 130 uh, libguides. They are arranged alphabetically here, all, gui all guides. We can see art and here's the link to art and visual arts. But they're also arranged by subject, by type, and by owner. Over here, some of my colleagues. So you click on art and visual arts. Yeah, sorry about the hum. So this is the look guide recommended for art students. And it's the homepage where we make general information available. We also have, um, let me just get this. We also have books, articles, CCs, reference pages, and so on. And in most of your assignments and projects, you will have to demonstrate that you have used all these different types of resources, library resources available to you. But from this home page, we make available general information. And I want to draw your attention first to these library guides that I've written for art students. This is a brief version. This is very important. This is uh, about library services available to you during lockdown this year. Um, very important, later this year I expect you will be able to visit uh, the main library. However, it's mandatory to use this uh, UNISA student booking app. So you have to make an appointment um, with the library, uh, librarians uh, at the library. Um, this is how you contact me. I'm from the Stanley, as you can see. Um, uh, you can 
call this number this goes straight through to my computer or my cell and this is my email address um, so let's have a look you'll see that there are three columns in more or less all of these pages let's have a quick look at books so if you click on books so we in the books tab now we clicked on this books tab we have the same three columns we usually arrange them from uh, general to specific you're using a hybrid library so we distinguish between ebook titles and print book titles this is a link to your catalog we'll have a look at it just now and these are recommended ebook uh, databases for that, that we recommend for art you have access to about half a million and uh, fast growing collection of ebook titles Let's have a quick look at articles by clicking on the tab for articles. So you'll be getting it now. We're on the articles tab. We have the three columns. These are quick links and tips. Over here, we distinguish between subject and image databases recommended for art students. This is a link to the resource, Art and Architecture Source. It sits in EBSCO. It's massive. 600 uh, art journals, 230 art books, etc. etc. So this is a, a image library, and uh, this is something that you will be using a lot. Uh, I, I name it, and I can't change it uh, from Grove Art to art, uh, art Online to Oxford. I think in your, you will be referred to in Oxford Art Online. Oxford bought the Grove, so this is where you access it from. Over here, the um, e-journals that I talked about, you have uh, access to about uh, 100,000 plus. You see a reference. You don't use the article, but you look up the journal title and then uh, click on this link, enter it, and get access to the electronic archive. Um, but I want to draw your attention to this Google Scholar settings document that you can download it's just uh, a few pages of steps on how to adjust, uh, adjust uh, Google Scholar settings for your NISA paid for resources so this is the shortest route to a journal article if you have reference so I highly recommend that you uh, download or open this document change the settings to your uh, Google Scholar and then when you retrieve anything you uh, click not on the retrieved main record but on the links on the right of the page okay one more look guide tab before we move on we're on internet sites we distinguish between African South African and international art internet sites uh, this list down here is quite extensive and towards the end we have several image databases which uh, I think you, you might feel useful, find useful. Um, if these links don't work, let me know. If you have better sites um, and they're not represented here, let me know and we can put it up. This is something that we want to share um, and pass forward to others as well. Okay. We had a, a look at uh, our libguides over here, but I want to draw your attention we're back on the uh, library page I want you to have a look at this link uh, e-reserves and recommended books now most UNISA undergraduate modules have a section in your tutorial it is 101 uh, point number four usually which deals with your library and library resources have a list uh, for each module of e-reserves those are uh, journal articles or recommend chapters from books and so on that are made available and then uh, recommend books that you can use uh, uh, and the library provides so uh, we click on this in this uh, little interface you enter your module code with no breaks so it's usually three letters and four numbers and submit So these are the 
Irizu is recommended for ARH1501. These are all, let me see, these are all links that take you through to other copies, digital copies of uh, chapters from books or links uh, to journal articles sitting in one of our databases. You clicked uh, on one of the e-reserves and because all our resources are licensed, we have to establish whether we are dealing with our own. So you will be asked or challenged by the UNISACAS and all we need is your student number over there and your MyUNISA password over there. Click on login and you'll have access. This page um, to ensure that we all know what a MyUNISA password is and how to claim it. Um, I recommend this is one of the first things you do because without a MyUNISA password you won't have access to our resources and services. How do you do it? You go to the MyUNISA page that you access from the UNISA page. Over here is how you claim the UNISA login. Here's a link for uh, forgotten student numbers and if you forgot the password in a couple of weeks this is where you um, go and reclaim it. Without that you won't be able to use your My Life email which we recommend you use whenever you correspond with the library or any other UNISA um, department. Don't use your personal emails, use your My Life emails. We all have to have a password. Uh, yours will be, your username will be your student number and your password, your MyUNISA password. Okay. We're back on the uh, library page and one of your basic skills would be how to search the catalog. Now this was uh, traditionally was uh, for our 3 million print books titles, but I want to show you how you can use the catalog to get to eBooks which means that you will be able to read, download books, chapters from home. This is a hyperlink, so just click on search the catalog. Good, we are on the catalog search interface. If you look closely, you'll see that we have two interfaces, one here and one here. Uh, I'm going to show you the catalog search proper. But Encore is uh, uh, software that searches the catalog plus a dozen or so of our uh, biggest database clusters. So you get a bit of everything. It's a quick and dirty really. I want to uh, concentrate on this one here for our purposes. Uh, you'll see that we have three different blocks um, and we start over here. The default is the title but if you click on the down arrow you will be able to do a keyword search. In other words look uh, for items um, that match your own descriptions over here and the default over here is your uh, entire collection. Right. So we did a keyword search. I asked the software to find two words, art and body and uh, I clicked on search and we retrieved 1,200 items matching these two words in each uh, record. You see over here the default is view entire collection but if you click on the down arrow you will be able to scroll up to ebooks and in other words limit your results of 1,200 uh, to ebooks only but you need to click on search again. Okay, so out of the 1,200, uh, after we have limited to ebooks only, we have uh, a result list of 210 ebook titles matching these two keywords of ours. Um, to open an ebook, this is a results list. To open the ebook proper, you uh, are required to click on the hyperlink title. So click over there. So we clicked on the first title in our uh, ebook list and we're looking at the full record. Um, if you need 
more, if you want to find out whether we have more books by Adrian Martin, you click on this hyperlink. Uh, to open the ebook, you'll see that our ebooks have a connecting, a connect to link below the, the record itself. You click on this hyperlink over here, you'll see the ebook is brought to us um, by Belgrave. So click on that and uh, you will be prompted for student number my UNISA password and you can proceed to use the book, download chapters and so on. We're looking at a full record of a print book title, probably a recommended book title because uh, recommended books are kept in the postal collection in the main library and in some of our branch libraries. I want to show you how to request a print book. So I always open the full record and then at the top there click on request. You will be prompted for uh, student number my Unisa password and the book will be mailed to your registration address by the library. back on the libguide for art on the articles tab and I want a quick look at the three databases recommended to you over here so these are hyperlinks uh, you simply click on them uh, student number my UNISA password over here is a description of what you can expect to find and we can have a look in quick succession at this recommended database arts and architecture source which is a EBSCO database. Um, this is an image database called Art Store, and over here is your Grove Art Online um, or Oxford Art Online. Right, so we click on Art and Architecture Source first. Good, so this is um, the go to database for art. It's a subject specific database called Art and Architecture Source. It's highly recommended because it's an EBSCO database, which uh, EBSCO allows you to search um, more than one database. So it's possible to search this one subject specific database, or you can click on Choose Databases and search simultaneously in another 60 or so databases, uh, which you can select depending on what you're looking for. Um, this is a typical uh, search interface for uh, the traditional databases. You'll see there are uh, three uh, rows of keywords, four keywords, and you can, uh, you can uh, search for Thomas Baines and art or paint, just to limit uh, to the field. And over here you can limit to um, different fields or electronic fields so you can say search for Thomas Baines in the title and for art or paint you can look in a subject field the subject fields are over here and it, um, they're quite uh, useful because if you glance at this you get an indication of the content so if somebody has read this um, article and assigned subject headings called art, biographies, amatollas, and so on and so on. So if you want to know, get a, a quick idea of what this um, article will be about, you just scan the subjects over here. Um, to use these interfaces uh, effectively, I want you to go back to your um, your guide for art at the home, at the home or landing page and uh, consult that uh, library guide for for art students. This is the Art Store image database brought to you by the University of South Africa. You can browse the collection. There's well over a million images available for use. Uh, you can search uh, Art Store. You could use the advanced search, uh, search function as well. And then finally, um, Oxford Art Online, which I expect you will be using regularly. Um, 
It is, uh, consists of uh, Oxford Artline proper, then also it incorporates Grove Art Online, various um, encyclopedias and dictionaries, the Venice uh, uh, Dictionary of Artists. I want you to use these tabs and I want you to use this um, resource in support of your uh, study material of your module. Good, so I think this is uh, enough to get you started. Uh, please experiment. Um, don't hesitate to contact me if you need uh, further assistance. Uh, my best wishes for your studies this year. Um, I hope you will be successful.